In today's video, we're going to tie a fly called the Stall Cups Betis. First thing we're going to do is start with a Daiichi 1270 hook and some Vivas 14 or 16 knot olive thread. Now the next thing that we're going to do is tie in the tail. And for that we're going to use a little bit of partridge. So I'm just going to take a partridge feather and pluck it from my hide here. And we're going to pull a few of these fibers away from the stem. Just a few fibers. The tail on this fly is supposed to be pretty pretty sparse. I'm just going to measure those out so they're, they're about half of the length of the shank of the hook. And you want to make sure to keep those tips as even as you can get them. There we go. And just measure it out on the shank. And you can tie them in there at the back of the bend of the hook. And we're just going to kind of hold the tails, and wrap down on them, just a few wraps, just a little ways down the bend of the hook. Here we are. Then I'm going to take my thread and I'll just wrap it forward so I get kind of that nice, even, smooth body. And then you can get in there and trim out the butt ends. Now the next material is going to be your body material. For this I'm going to use some small D-rib. and We're going to tie this in so that the flat portion of the D-rib, there's actually a slight curve to this D-rib. I'm going to tie it in so that the flat portion faces me to start. That way when I begin to wrap that D-rib, the first wrap will wrap over itself and then I'll get that nice round dome segment segmentation that I'm looking for. Then once you wrap it all the way down to the bend, trim out the excess here. We want to build a little bit of a taper to this body, so I'm just going to kind of build a small little thread lump or bump kind of here at the halfway point of the hook. This just kind of makes it look like a mayfly. Gives it a little bit of that natural kind of body that it has. Mayfly nymphs aren't all the same thickness all the way through the body. They get of course a little thicker as you get towards the thorax. So that's kind of what we're trying to imitate here. Now I'm going to take that first wrap that D-rib. There you can see I get that round segmentation on the body. Then once we get to kind of our hump here on our body, you can start to see the body starting to bulk up. That is the exact look that we're going for. Now I want to leave a little bit of room up here by the head of the fly. About a third of the body you want to leave for the head or the thorax. So now we're ready to tie in our casing material which is just going to be some buggy olive medallion sheeting and I just cut a little strip about the the gap of the hook, the width of the gap of the hook, maybe a little bit more. Let's see what we did here. It's a little bit more, but pretty close. Doesn't have to be exact. And we're going to tie this in with the short piece facing back and the long piece facing forward off the eye of the hook. And we need to do kind of a loose wrap to initially grab this stuff. And it'll kind of all crinkle together. You want to just make sure it's all on top of the hook, facing forward off the eye. It's slippery stuff, it likes to wander on you, so just kind of manipulate it, be patient with it. And we can trim the excess here hanging off the back. Make sure you don't cover up the eye of the hook, leave a little bit of room. 
And now we're ready to tie in our legs. Now I'm going to build up a little bit of a thread wedge here, right up against some of that D-rib. You want to make sure that you leave a fair amount of room for that thorax, about a third. Then I'm going to take my thread to the halfway point of that thorax. I don't want to go all the way to the eye. I want to leave a little bit of room in between the eye and the thorax here. Now I'm going to grab another partridge feather. And I'm going to strip away some of the fluff and base fibers here. Just exposing kind of the, the tip portion. Now I'm going to cut a little notch in that feather. And those will be my legs. Now we're going to measure these legs at about the halfway point of the hook, which is about right where I cut my notch, just in front of where I cut that notch. Now we're going to tie these legs facing forward, right in the middle of our thorax. So let's get all my legs here together. I'm going to face them forward. I'm just going to do a nice loose wrap to begin here just to kind of capture those legs. And then I'll wrap back down a little bit on the thorax. Then we can trim out the excess. Now we're ready for the body of the or the dubbing of the thorax. So I'm just going to take a little bit of super fine dubbing in a blueing olive color or a light olive color, either one works just fine. I'm just going to dub the back half of this body all the way up to those legs. Now I'm just going to take these legs and I'm just going to kind of swoop, swoop them up and kind of back all together and I'm going to lay down a few wraps of thread right in front of them. And that should post them straight up. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of that dubbing. This will keep these legs out of the way so that we can just lay down a little bit of dubbing on that head. And if you have any stray little fibers. Get them out of there. Now we can dub that that head. You want to make sure not to overdo it. And then we can jump our thread back to the back of the thorax there. Now we're going to take our legs and we're just going to kind of roughly split them into two even portions. And I'm going to pull that medallion sheeting over the top. And I'll just kind of pull those legs forward that way I don't grab them. Then I'm going to do a loose wrap with my thread I'll do a second loose wrap with my thread. Then I can kind of pull that medallion sheeting a little bit, and that'll really help split those legs apart. Then I'll bite down with a couple more wraps once I've pulled that medallion sheeting tight. Then I can take my thread and I'm going to jump it underneath the body up to the eye. Now we can just do our quick little whip finish and trim out trim out the thread. Now we need to trim our medallion sheeting. So I'm going to take this medallion sheeting and I'm going to pull it backwards pretty tight. And I'm going to pull it upward at a slight angle and I'm going to go in with my scissors and I'm just going to trim straight down the top. And what that does is you can see I left just a little bit of material there 
and they're kind of like little wing buds, like a little emerger, starting to kind of emerge. And that's all there is to the Style Cups Betas. Great little BWO or Mayfly pattern, really buggy looking, nice profile, all the right colors, great little fly.